Santosh, welcome. Good to have you with us. Thank you, Taylor. Before we get to some of the declines, uh, a little bit of background here. When a SPAC um, goes wanting for a deal, after about two years in typical cases, what do those SPAC organizers have to do? Return the money to the investors? Absolutely. They just have to return the money. And the cost of setting up the SPAC, you lose that. I mean, that's an invested capital. You can't get that back. So you just have to return it. That's, that's the whole idea. Uh, you have two years and, uh, to get it done. There's you know, enough time. We, we, many of us remember what went on in 2008, 2007, 2008, with, um, uh, in the real estate market, uh, uh, auction rate securities, other kinds of esoterica that cratered. Is there any possibility that the SPAC market, if it falls apart, could be the kind of tipping point to a real financial crisis and turn what is now uh, not necessarily an economic crisis, but turn it into a, a much more distinctly financial crisis? No. Um I don't think SPAC market is that big to really mm -hmm. cause that kind of a turbulence in the market. Uh, right now, they have a credibility problem. You know, they need to really establish themselves. They got a bad, uh, they did not perform well. Uh, everyone's turned off. No transparency and no disclosures and all that stuff. So all the, I think the rules are going to change. The proposed rules, if they're enacted, I think it's going to make it much more uh, viable investing in SPACs. But right now, there's a credibility problem and they have to prove it. And just for data, out of the 600 or so SPACs in 2021, 400 plus are still looking for a partner. Mm -hmm. So that's a big thing. I mean, they have to find, they have about anywhere from seven months to 19 months to get it done. So let's see what, what, what happens, but uh, there's a problem. You but, need but that to, was the question companies. I was gonna ask you, how many SPACs are out there looking for deals? And you just answered, you said two out of three of the ones that were introduced last year are still uh, vacant SPACs, let's, let's say SPAC. Absolutely. And what's happening is now these companies, uh, these SPACs, will uh, get desperate at one point. They're moving down the line, going mm -hmm. to Series A, Series B, Series C, earlier stage companies, and even tapping the international markets to get mm -hmm. some good, good targets. So I think you're going to see all of that. Uh, there are good companies. There's a lot of good work being done, great technologies out there. Mm -hmm. uh, but you just have to find them. I think that's, that's where... Uh, credibility and performance will come in. And I'm sure it'll happen. It's a good, it's an exit option, but not, not for everyone. It needs to be well tested and uh, be careful with that. I'm just wondering about the ripple effect, Santosh, because it's weird this would be happening where liquidity is drying up, investors don't want IPOs, and yet SPACs are forced to get a deal done. So I guess it's a lifeline to startups who are freaking out they won't be able to have an exit. But at the same time, if investors turn up their nose at these offerings, What's going to be the fallout from that? Yeah, you know, to some extent, there is no liquidity problem in the private markets. There's enough liquidity out there. Uh, I think there's about $230 billion worth of dry powder out there. Uh, about about $630 billion was invested uh, in, uh, in, the, in, the private, well, in the private markets, in uh, startups. So there's a lot of liquidity out there. So that's not the issue. I think now what's happened is the bar has been raised. The companies have to prove and uh, the business models have to be sharpened and all that stuff, which is good. I think this pause is good in the long run. It's healthy, not only for SPACs, but for other potential IPOs. You really need to clean up because you know what's waiting at the end of the line. The public market is not, it's not going to, it's not going to relent anymore. They're going to be very strict about certain things. They want transparency. They need a path to profitability in a reasonable time, not like way down the future. So I think that all that is there. They know all that and they know the rules of the game right now. So they need to perform and it'll do. I mean, that, this is a good thing in the end.